What is up YouTube and welcome to episode 41 of Chaos Daily. Super exciting episode today. It was an exciting episode yesterday too. Getting the IPA. <laughs> Getting printing. Yes. I was so busy yesterday. I was doing this and then I was doing that and then I was doing this and then I was doing that and it was just back and forth all over everywhere doing everything. Um, if you follow me on Twitter, I was posting like a madman. There was just so many posts. So um, what are we going to do today? Well, we're going to jump straight into a time lapse of me taking the second print out of the printer. What have I printed? Well, it's a calibration print. So it's just a thing of certain dimensions and size that I will use my calipers on and get an accurate representation of if I make something this size, it will print that size. And then based on the difference in the percentage of difference, I then go into the slicing software and add or subtract that percentage to the the numbers in the bed size in the slicer and that way when I print the next thing it should be bang on. Let's jump into the time lapse and uh, check out how I take something out of the printer. It's a bit of a process. And there we have it. I am so in love with this printer. I've had a, I've had a number of FDM printers in the past. Um, they have both worked and not worked for both 
mechanical reasons and user error reasons. I, I, I just don't think FDM is for me, personally. I, I just don't get along with FDM and all the all the setup and everything you have to do for it and the bed leveling and it's too much technical work for what you get out of it. Whereas resin printing, it's a lot more just prep and setup, which isn't very technical. You just have to follow a set of rules for how you handle stuff and the order that you do stuff in. And it works so smoothly. I've got the third print going, just like that, bang. This wham bam system is amazing. You pull a print out, you have the next plate ready, you wipe the bottom of your bed, you stick the next one in, bang. Start the next print while you're busy washing and curing your, your, your previous print. So what else, what else are we gonna use? Uh, aside from me, just, just did it over the moon. I'm so happy, I'm so happy. Some more post arrived yesterday. Um, we got the batteries for the Long Easy and the Albatross. So the, like, the, 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 I'm really impressed for the price that I paid for these batteries um, from China Hobby Line. These, these are good quality looking. Um, I just need to replace the plug on the two of them. For some reason, the 4Cell has an XT90. Um, it is a 50C discharge though, so I'm thinking I might leave that as an XT90, but I don't need it for this glider setup. Um, but the other one has got one of those one of those T T plugs. I don't like those. Those are for like cars, aren't they? For the racing, they're the uh, RC cars. Anyways, I'm gonna change that to an XT60 or an XT90. I'll have a look. I think it'll be an XT60 based on the C rating of the battery, but it is a six cell, so hmm, I don't know. I don't know why there's still an XT90 on a four cell. I mean, why? I know it's a high amperage output, but why? Anyways, so yeah. Um, also, I got an email back from Piopoli, from Mark. I uh, sent him a message asking for the dimensions of those mounting holes, bracket things inside the Phenom. And he got in touch with the engineers and the engineer said uh, this, this, and this. So I now have the measurements for that so I can finish the design for the heating system in the Phenom. The, right now I'm printing the cap for the top of the heating system that holds the, the heating element in place. And uh, next, then I'll print the reducing color between the fan and the heating mount. Um, I'm waiting off on that one until I get the measurements off of the calibration test. That's sitting over there curing at the moment. And uh, yeah, this, I'm so excited. It, it, a couple more days and I'll have this thing dialed in. We will be printing plane parts. Another exciting thing to look out, out for is I have started work on the Phenom Setup Episode 2. That's gonna be a really good episode. I got a lot of recording done for that yesterday with the first print and how that turned out. Um, here are some pictures of those lovely QBs. Yeah, they're sitting now in my display case with all my Necrons. They look like techno, you know, techno debris all over the floor and stuff. They actually look really good. They, they go well. I think I might paint them or something. Get my airbrush out. And tss, tss, tss. Yeah, so. Yeah, we'll, um, we'll leave it there for today. Nice short episode. I'm just gonna keep the episode short for the dailies because I'm, I've got so much work to do now. Like this, <laughs> I've gotta go build a curing station. <laughs> I can't just keep using my display case as a curing station. So make sure to hit the like button if you haven't already. Subscribe if you're not, that would be really helpful. Go check out my Patreon if you can, that'd be awesome. And uh, yeah, as always, I've been Chaos. And until next time, expect the unexpected. And I will see you guys later. And a special thank you to all my patrons that help support the channel. If you would also like to support the channel, there's a link in the description.